morning everyone i wanted to get back on here and finish talking about love um and i was saying in my previous video that love can be a difficult word to say like sometimes it's difficult to say i'm sorry to some people you know so as i was saying <coughs> earlier um as i was growing up i didn't hear the word i love you you know my dad didn't say it to me my grandmother didn't say it and um previously like i have said it's um when you don't hear these things and you don't feel them all the way sometimes in a home when you have children you do the same you don't you know i didn't tell my children i love them all the time i would show them and I thought it was into making sure they had what they needed buying things for them and that's the way you show that you love someone but you have to tell someone you love them and it's sad to say that as I got older and when I would tell my grandmother I love you she would say me too I don't know why that word love maybe they weren't Maybe it didn't wasn't said in their home um, because I can remember her um, sister when I would say um, I love you when I would talk to her she would say me too so um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm outside and I was trying to get somewhere where not a people wasn't walking but I didn't hear it said to me and when my grandmother had fell and broke her hip and she was in a hospital and developed different conditions my grandmother was healthy she didn't eat sugar she didn't eat salt she ate um brown almost everything she ate was brown brown flour brown rice it was nothing white brown bread i didn't grow up on eating white rice and white flour and different things like that but and sugar wasn't in our diet so <laughs> my grandmother was pretty healthy she didn't have high blood pressure she didn't have diabetes or anything nothing was wrong with her kidneys but it's something about when they go into facilities or when they're older and they go into the facilities rehabs hospitals they go down they don't go up they don't get better they go down so she broke her hip and she was in the hospital and it was it was looking good i thought you know it was looking good she was going to come out she was healing and mending and i told her i was like i love you nana she said i love you too and i could have fell on the floor because sad to say that was the first time my grandmother i ever remember my grandmother saying it, i love you too she will always say me too me too me too my dad the same way my dad is still alive um, as he was getting older, older, um, he was just say, I love you. And I was like, wow, I love you too. Love you too. And I don't know what it was about the old, you know, our parents, some of our parents, they never said it. And I never, f I did, not that I didn't feel it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know if I, if I, well, I guess I thought that was love the way I was raised and the things that were done. You know, I thought they loved me by, you know, chastising me and, you know, beating me and, and everything because I was bad. I thought I deserved the beatings that I deserved. Uh, I mean, that I got, I thought I deserved them. And going without food was a punishment to me because I was doing whatever, being bad. And as I grew up, fasting you putting a child on a fast is shouldn't be a punishment first of all that's child abuse and it shouldn't be a punishment because when they develop a spiritual walk with god they don't want to they don't understand that fasting draws you closer to god they think oh i'm not fasting because that's punishment that's punishment you know i've dealt with that when i was growing up and that's punishment but it's not punishment. You should never have your children go without food as punishment. You could take things away from them. You can do things, you know, whatever. However you parent, you can do that. But love, 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 love. 
you know, um, it's, it's a hard word. It's a difficult word. And even in my marriage, you know, I would tell my husband, I love you. Ditto or me too. And I had to tell him that, um, he said, does it matter who says it first? Yes, it does. It matters because the other person needs to know that you love them. They need to hear it, not me too, not ditto. If you love me, say, I love you. You know, I want to feel the love. I want to feel it, not only feel it, I want to hear it sometimes. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick because there was, you know, I didn't, wasn't even, I thought it's about some things while I'm waiting for the bus that, um, you know, to, to tell your children, tell your significant other, tell your husband, tell your wife, tell your parents while they're still here, life is too short to not show love. While we have breath in our body, while we're still able, we need to tell someone, I love you. You know, tell someone I love you. I love everyone. I may not know you, but I love you with the love of the Lord. My friends and my family, they know how I feel about them. And I just want everybody to be encouraged and tell someone that you love them today. And if you haven't heard someone say I love you, I love you. So go and tell your parent, go and tell your child, hug your child. Tell your child, I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a good day. I love you. You know, because when we go out our doors, we're not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed that we're going to come back. We don't know what's, what's our, what our next minute, our next hour, our next day or it's going to be. We don't know when the next time we're going to see each other again. So just tell someone, I love you. I love you. I love you. And hug them and give them a big old hug and a big old kiss. They may be like, I don't want that, especially some children. And when they get older, I don't want all that mushy stuff but just grab them up and tell them you love them and hug and kiss on them. So you all have a good day. I'm on my way to work. And it's um, it's kind of overcast today. I didn't put my boots on because I thought I thought I was going to be too hot. But I wish I had to put my boots on because my feet are cold. <laughs> but you all have a good day. I love you much. Have a blessed day. Bye. So the next video, pilot, this is... Oops. This is piling around with Paula. My phone is dying. I had it on a charger, but it's on red. So I'm going to charge it when I get to work. If I think of something else, I'll jump on here again and do another video. All right. Be blessed.